What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing an X-Men 97 review of Storm and Rogue. Before we get into it, I want to give a quick shout out to Deep Pop Culture and Gifts for having these figures in stock. Thank you guys once again. And uh, yeah, let's get into these boxes. We'll check out Storm first. We've got Storm obviously chilling right there with her side art on the side and then the X-Men team on the top and then her in her pose with all the figures that this line, this wave comes with. And then same thing for Rogue. Rogue on the left, team on the top and all the figures on the back with Rogue. So without further ado, let's crack these babies open and uh, check it out. And here they are out of the box and first impressions is pretty good. I'm quite happy with them. I think they look great. There are a couple little things I wanna mention about Storm here, but I mean, overall, I'm quite happy with it. They're on standard bodies, standard female bodies. Um, so I don't think there's gonna be much of a crazy articulation change with either of them. So we might skip out on the articulation. I don't think any of, these any of these bodies are new anyways. So I'll save you the articulation segment for today. But yeah, first impressions is, I think they look pretty great. Let's, uh, let's take a closer look at Rogue first and then we'll go into Storm. All right, and looking at Rogue here, her face looks really good. It doesn't look too realistic, but it also doesn't look fully animated as well. So it could pass as a comic book rogue. So that's pretty cool. She's got her, what's that, her sweatband or something underneath her head, her hair right there, which looks pretty good. Her hair looks pretty good. I've got a little bit of me messed up paint right here, a couple marks. Um, I'm not sure if that wipes off. Oh, I think it does. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Paint's good. And then moving down to her jacket here she's got a red x right there i think one of the previous rogue figures uh some of the comic book rogues have a uh, the brown coat um, but she has a green coat now i'm assuming that's what happens in the animated series she gets a green coat um, so that looks pretty good going around about under the arms that looks pretty good there's no like yellow popping out get her arm down she got her X right there, which looks pretty good. And then her belt, which is loose, which is loose. So if you want to, if you need to adjust it, you can. Her fist, her gloves look good. She's got when she comes in the box, she has this hand on, which is her um, her hand holding her other glove. So you would actually have this hand on with that hand. Otherwise, it looks like she's carrying three gloves. So that would be a bit weird. Um, these knees are pretty cool. These things right here. So that looks pretty good. And yeah, quite happy with how this rogue looks. And here we have Storm. And initially I was like, oh, her hair looks sick. <laughs> I turned it around and there's this, there's this big, uh, big rat tail back here, which I mean, it, it, it's all right. It doesn't look you know that bad, but I think I would have just preferred like the Mohawk. But, you know, it is what it is. That's what they chose for the design. Um, she's got these lightning bolt earrings on, which are cool. I don't know if you guys can make that out, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. Her face looks great. And uh, these red X's right here really pop out, stand out. I, I love the coloring with her. I love the white, yellow, and the red. Yeah, it just looks, looks really good. Um, and then coming down, she's got these paper cloth, uh, uh, what, I don't even know what that is, like some kind of fabric cloth paper material. Um, I'm pretty sure all the other storms have the same kind of thing. Um, she has it wrapped around her wrists. Um, I think it looks kind of like cheap right here. Like it looks, doesn't look too good right there. To, in my personal opinion, I think uh, it looks a bit cheap, but I mean, most people aren't gonna be posing their figure from the back. So I guess, I guess it's not like the biggest deal, but yeah, it's not my, favorite thing but whatever does the trick and then coming down there's really not much going on here that's just pretty much just white all the way down i think the real action is up here with the crazy mohawk head and yeah overall though i think she looks great and she's needed for the for the rest of the x-men all right so we'll start off with rogues accessories she's got her ungloved hand for touching people and then her fisted hand and nothing else. Then for Storm, similar. She's got her electric shooting hand 
or something, and then her fist hand. And that's all the accessories they came with. I think with Storm, they could have added some kind of lightning effect. That would have been cool. Um, but I'm sure we all have some kind of lightning effect laying around. And then for Rogue here, I'm not exactly sure of another accessory you could add with her. Um, they added her holding the glove, which I think is an important accessory. Um, I don't know. Comment down below if you guys can think of any other accessories to add with Rogue here. And here they all are together, and I have been waiting for this moment. <laughs> been waiting to unbox them all and just see them all standing next to each other. And they just look great. Like, they all complement each other so well. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with this. I, I don't have another Rogue or Storm figure to compare to them, which I'm sorry about. Because um, this is the beginning of my X-Men uh, collection. These, like, I have like one other Wolverine figure and one other Magneto figure. Because um, I'm relatively new to collecting Marvel Legends. So I was waiting for this line to come out in order to start collecting X-Men figures. And yeah, I'm so happy with this. This looks great. I'm excited for uh, a potential another wave of these X-Men 97 to come out. Because we got some other important characters like Beast, Cyclops jubilee and uh whoever else is out there of course so super excited about that but they all look fantastic together all right ladies and gents that is storm and rogue let me know down in the comments below if you guys are going to pick these figures up or if you're going to pick up any of these x-men 97 figures i've got to say my favorites from this wave are probably first wolverine because i just like wolverine and then second would probably be bishop and then third would be magneto fourth would be Gambit, and then probably Rogue, and then Storm. Or maybe Storm and then Rogue. Uh, I think Rogue. I think I like Rogue a little bit better. Um, so that's my my score, or my, uh, my uh, favorite to least favorite. Not saying that my least favorite is any bad, whichever one my least favorite is, probably Storm. She's still awesome, she, she still looks great, but I think you guys need to get them all. I think they all just complement each other real well, and yeah, they look great. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and uh, hit that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.